That is very nice of her. Good. That might have been it. Just need to be very careful with my back. Yeah. Just brought over a little Yeah, that's good. Yeah, she's very nice to me. Really is. What a great neighbor. She still drives. Yeah. Nothing for Christmas, okay. 18, 19, 32. It was three miles. It was a long time. Mm. And I carried it. Did you? Oh, oh. Yeah, like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was quite the adventure. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So where's, uh, where's John? I'm splashing the game in the living room. Uh, maybe I'll pop in and say a quick hello before I take off. Oh, really? I mean, yeah. We should. Um, yeah. We'll see you in the morning. In the morning? In the morning. First thing. Yeah. We still have a lot of work to do. We sure do. So I will see you in the morning. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Small potatoes for a company like Democor. You should really just focus on. Just close the deal with 
I think putting one of those coffee shops in a new condo development outside the downtown core would show growth potential. Well, unfortunately, Brian Murray already has a coffee shop, and this little community is really not big enough for two coffee shops. Exactly. It's an upgrade. This is a huge opportunity. We can start there and expand our way through the rest of Brian Murray. Just think about your sales opportunities if we gentrify an entire municipality. Gentrify? Uh, Antonio, that is that is a lot of, of up, uprooting. Like you said, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. Wait, hello? Hello? Sugar cookies, eggnog, Christmas movies. Yes. Yeah, I, I saw the that so fun. store but unfortunately things are a little hectic at work. Already having their Christmas <laughs> stuff up and I'm like Oh, oh my gosh. Allie and I went to Poncho the past week or the week before. They know that Christmas stuff is out. Yeah. You know how it is do it, right? Yeah. I haven't really talked to them in depth about what's going on over in Israel. Oh, okay. Go out there uh, for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Cheryl, here's what he has to say about it. You lost me. Yeah. I Israel. Israel's been having problems for years. So it's nothing new. Yeah. You know that, right, John? Anyway, I'm doing an evaluation. You know, we're kind of the history of Israel and. They've had a lot of conflict in there, and people trying to take them over, and a lot of Yeah, I, I... Been fighting forever. Well, I don't... No. I don't know much about it. Yeah, but I can't remember. High school was a little while ago. long time ago, I know. Strategic? I worry a lot about the stuff that's here. In the United States, yeah, there's, I know there's a lot of, uh, right now. No, in Tucson, in Tucson. In, at the shelter, at, at PAC, and, oh, yes, you of know, course. Yeah, and, our, you and our family, and, and, sure. and you, and, and yeah, I understand. you know, so. Keeps me, it keeps me pretty busy. Yeah, I'm sure it does, though. Yeah. Service porch, 
I don't like war. I wish we could... I wish we could, uh... Talk things out or just think about it for a little while before acting so much like that. It's over in the Middle East. I mean, there's a lot of conflict over there. Yeah. Everybody out of there, and you know, it's just not easy. Well, it's like I was telling Alejandra. There's a very high density of a lot of people that a very of a lot of people that have a lot of different beliefs. Oh yeah. And so there's a lot of tension going on there, and it's. It's a fight you know, I was telling Alejandra that whenever, whenever I deal with people that are very, very challenging for me to deal with, you know, very hard for me to deal with, uh, they have different beliefs than I do and things like that. I can get away. You know, I can go to my room or I can... You know, I can go to go to see the doggies or something like that, but I can get away. But there, I think in Israel, they can't really get away because they're just so packed in, so tightly packed in that they can't really decompress. Because that's that's you know that's what Kelly that's what Kelly got going on was the decompression program for the doggies. Oh really? Yeah. So. She realized that the dogs were, you know, they were in a very stressful situation. Sure. And they needed to get away. Yeah. 